Our nation is in trouble. Chokwadi. Our nation is what? In trouble. I want to remind you of the prophecies that I gave a long time ago. I want to remind you about them. Because I did give those uh, prophecies. They are prophecies. They are prophecies. <laughs> but they are going to be miracles when they happen because the fulfillment of those prophecies is going to change things around. Now, I will not apologize to those who have declared themselves enemies to us because of the gospel that I preach. The reason is the gospel was created with enemies. So if you jump and come to the gospel, you have got to know about it. So that when you see people declaring themselves enemies to you, you will not be offended, number one. Number two, you should not be surprised. Yes. design, never pinda mariri, unobo wabata wow, inengeri chimbo irikurova tsuro ne gwenzi. Chokwadi. Saka, those who say they are our enemies, we welcome them to that enmity. Yes. It is a God-ordained enmity. We don't have a problem with that. Chokwadi. We... We hate nobody ourselves. We have no space in our hearts to be a grudge or yes. to have hatred. Yes. We hate nobody. Chokwadi. We are a people of love. Yes. But we love the God's way. Yes. We don't love men's way. Yes. We love God's Amen. way. Amen. Are you getting it? Yes. So it's a reminder of the prophecies that I gave. Before I remind you of these prophecies, I want to remind you of some of the prophecies that I gave which did come to pass. You may not like it, but I gave those prophecies. If you didn't hear them, it is probably because they were not meant for you. Now, Zaka Oma Kugan, Rira Chin, Chawasina, Chisna Kubiki, way, way, way. So I can offer out Pabiqua no P or Mians, what I got in a pan, didn't touch at my big ray. Zabi goes upon a pins, outori po, Pamej, Wama Capedo, Vajipinda Monopi, Avana Bofunga Nezako, yes, was no pins, never no zidava Zagaziriwa. You are Shikaya Paku, Osa Popote, Apana Pletia Copa no Pav. Saka got the change, the river, the Vano Ganira, Cupopote as you profit as you see the Javo. Now, in 2015, Jacob Zuma, the South African former president, he made some stark uh, utterances which were very much uh, outrageously blasphemous against our God. He said that there was so much sin in South Africa that it was important and needful for Jesus to come again and die specifically for the sins of South Africa. And when he made those utterances, there was a voice that spoke to me and the Lord said he was going to be humiliated in a manner that has never happened in South Africa. He was going to leave office before his term. I said those words. Amen. You can follow our sermons. I made that statement in 2015. I kept on repeating it through 2016, 2017. And when did Zuma get booted out of office? Was it not 2017? 2001? 17 or 18, I can't remember off it. There is a joke in South Africa which says Zuma was more in court than in his presidential office during his term because of so many, there were more than 100 cases of fraud against Jacob Zuma. And he was in trouble. He eventually got booted out. 
He left office while well. he still wanted to be there. I remember the day there was a vote of no confidence against him by the ANC Supreme Decision Making Body. Just before that, he was making statements that he was continuing to reign as president because he said in his own way, because the people of South Africa, they still want me. It was because of the motion that was moved against him, first of all by Julius Malema in parliament and at another point by another MP from ANC. Eventually, there was a decision made by the ANC outside parliament and then because of that, he was pressured to leave and then he left. That was a prophecy. When I made the prophecy, not much was happening about him anyway. When people heard me, they speak a lot of things against me, but prophecy is prophecy. You can't fight something that has been said. Amen. If it was said according to God's instruction, it will surely come to pass. Yes. I also gave uh, a prophecy concerning uh, a lot of things. I gave a prophecy concerning elections in Zimbabwe. I said there was not going to be a winner, and the one that was going to be declared a winner is not going to be declared a winner because he has won, but because God wants him to be there for a specific purpose. And that there was not going to be a change of president after the election. The one that we had was going to be the one we, we are going to be having after the election. I said it. People said I am a ZANPF supporter because I said the results of elections, I saw them. I said that I was at first there. People said, I don't support a son because I doubt I'm not going to go to It's not about what I want. Uh, if the newsman announces that fuel prices have increased, it doesn't mean that he is going to buy fuel with an unadjusted price. Amen. He is also going to buy the same at the same price. He's yes. simply announcing what is going to happen. Yes. Higher authorities have given him a task to make an announcement. So the man of God makes a pronouncement of what God is going to do. It yes. doesn't mean that he has a contribution in those things. Yes. Okay? So I didn't go there to rig elections. I wasn't there. <laughs> I only went to cast my own vote because I'm a Zimbabwean. I have a right to vote. As far as the outcome of the election, I played no part. And now, I don't work for Zimbabwe Electoral Commission. So I didn't do anything. I just made a pronouncement, because that's what I saw. I saw those results before people went to vote. So I gave the prophecy. People hate me because they wanted a different outcome. God doesn't work for people. He is God. Yes. And for those who celebrated because they thought the prophecy was in their favor, they were also misguided. Yes. Because when I spoke about it, I said there are people who were behind another man for a long time. They were blaming him, saying they were able to do better than he was doing. And I said God wants, wants them to come in front so that the people may see them as failures for what they truly are. They yes. are going to do worse than the one that was before them. Amen. And people said, He's, he doesn't have hope. Let's give them a chance. Who do you want to give them a chance? Do you want God to give them a chance? <laughs> or you want Apostle Chuenga to give them a chance? You have got to specify. Yes. For prophecy, I Tariro. I pay chance to improve economy. Was in a industry that much of food that Mari at much of food. Yes, I got a big chance. Utah and Nere, Carotor and Maracas Tower. You have got to be able to answer those questions. Yes, so they failed and they are still failing and they shall continue to fail. Yes, because they were never meant to do anything good, they ran out of grace. Our leaders, that's what I'm talking about our president and his subordinates. Yes. Right now, they are suggesting that because they can't import enough fuel, we should buy bicycles. <laughs> if they are serious about it, then they should buy a new motorcade of bicycles. Yes. Because leaders are known for leading by example. Yes. <laughs> That's what we know. Yes. 
Atisikuramba kutingati chove. Tirikuramba ele kuchova mbasikoro. Mete. Atirambe kuchova mbasikoro. Yes. Tudaku zikuwa bero ne mbasikoro. Richikuro sa robot. Wii, 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 wii. Jotiraj. Zimu wanye ina sese. Istotera o mashure. Tichicho vao. Yes. Chaka mfarana babe wa kundi gana kutenga mafuta. Nemuriwo. Wotu kwa na sauti ya kanaka. Ini ayodini singa ite. We all need ayodini. Kupira ire gerero kwa ana. Kwa nangu gati jige ine sauti sadzai. Da tadza kutenga mafuta. Ya kwa ti sauti ino. Chaka kuna tishika sauti. Sauti ino naka. Ha ha. Hakuna sinu shakada. For a minister to suggest that people should buy bicycles in a country that does not have cycling lanes on roads. <laughs> we are suffering from a leadership plague. Yes, yes. Yes. It's a plague. We have leaders they not only fail to lead us, but they also don't know how to talk to their people. Yes. And they are doing that because they are riding on our people's docility. Yes. If we had people who knew how to practice activism, they would never have said such reckless rhetoric. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. But when I said it, people castigated me. They criticized me. They don't want to talk to me now and say, what you said is true. Oh. You said we are going to go through a dark hour. We are seeing it. Mm. Three months ago, I said the dark hour is only starting. And people said, oh, it's too hard for us all. <laughs> they are now seeing that it's getting worse and worse and worse and worse. The dark hour is not yet passed. Yes. We are in the midst of a dark hour. Tripa senda. Pedakao. Yes. Now, after reminding you of the prophecies that I gave, I'm going to give you another prophecy. But there's a prophecy that I promised you at Gomba there. I'm not yet giving that one. I'll give it later. It's for a few weeks to come. I'm still praying about it. I know the prophecy. I don't know how to say it. So the Lord is going to teach me how to say the prophets. Prophecies are always good when they come in redos. Yes. <laughs> well, the people will be speculating. But those who hear the, the, the speech of God, they will know what this prophet yes, is talking about. Yes, yes. I also said there was a man who holds a lot of wisdom concerning this country. Yes. And I say these days to go when I. And I said, if our leaders wanted wisdom, they should have sought uh, audience with him to tap from his reservoir of wisdom. Now, I'm not going to tell you if that prophecy has been fulfilled or it has not. I am going to tell you what we lose if we don't get or if we didn't get the wisdom that that man had. That man had certain information concerning this country that we needed to hear. Yes. And we could only hear it from him. And when I said our leaders, I never meant our leaders as you know our leaders. Yes. There were people who were supposed to hear from him, not the people that you are looking or thinking about. This country is sitting on a prostituted history. Yes. The history of this country that we are being told is not as genuine and as true as yes. it is really. Yes. A lot of history has been cooked up to create profiles of the who is who of our current leadership. Chokwadi. 
If we had heard that man speaking, he would have given us files of certain individuals whom if we were to consider that information, they don't deserve to be called heroes at all. Yes. Now I'm going to tell you something that I was going to tell our president if he had given me a chance. By the way, on Monday last week, I went to his office. Yes. I don't think it's good for me to read you the letter that I wrote to him now. Maybe I'll read it to you. Because I still think that he's going to find it and to respond. Because the secretary, his secretary said she was going to get back to us. I, I went to his office and I left the letter with his secretary on Monday last week. So what I'm going to tell you is part of what I'm going to tell him if he affords me a chance to speak to him. If I'm still alive. Yes. Yes. Because they are trying to harass us these days. They are, following, they are sending CIOs to follow us everywhere we are going. I went to the airport. They harassed me. They harassed me everywhere. They send CIOs to harass me at the airport. They take my passport. They take it away. And after five minutes, they bring it back. They say, you can go. It means somebody is approving my journeys these days. Yes. So, among other things that I said to him when I wrote him a letter, I said, you are wasting taxpayers' money. In the days where people are struggling to find fuel to go to work, you are putting fuel in vehicles to follow a street preacher, to follow a preacher who is known where he is found. Why don't you just find me? Let's talk. Saka, kutindira pedi chitevere wa zunondi kanga nisao. Because as a preacher, I need to have a clear mind, a clear head. It's very difficult for you to live knowing that some people are following you. They want to kill you. Where are they going to kill you? When are they going to kill you? I'm not afraid to die, but it tortures me to be living with an X over my head every day. Like somebody who has been on a death row for four years, it's difficult. It's better for me to die on Monday than to die on Friday, you know? That kind of a thing. <laughs> Don't you think so? <laughs> it's better for you to die on Monday than to die on what? <laughs> because between Monday and Friday, you'll be torturing yourself. So are they going to chop my head off? Are they going to shoot me? Are they going to tamper with my vehicle so that I get involved in an accident? That's what tortures me now. Not the fear of dying. No, I'm not afraid of dying. That's why I'm going to be saying these things anyway. Yes. So that man, he had a, the correct version of this country's history. He's not the only one with that version. Others have got pieces of the correct version, but he had the bigger part. He has the bigger part. I don't want to be preemptive. So I said, if our leaders wanted wisdom, they should have found audience, they should have met with him so that they may know the true events that happened. I was born in 1985. Five years after we got independence. The good thing about me is my parents were war heroes. My grandfather was one of the people who deployed soldiers in the Inyanga area there. He is the one who actually helped other great heroes to leave this country to go for military training. So I also lost a brother to the war. So I have got a right to say whatever I want to say, apart from the fact that as a minister, I know no boundaries anyway. <laughs> so. Don't, don't, don't muzzle me and say you were not there, you should not talk about it. Because that's what they do when they try to change the history. If one is a true hero, we must know him for what he truly did. We must know them for their true contribution to this country's liberation. For people to come back from the war and hide certain things from us, it is not fair. Is it fair? No, it's not. It's not fair. 
There are people whom we are celebrating as war heroes today who are actually guilty of murdering other war heroes yes. during the war. Yes. We have leaders who have blood in their hands, not blood of killing the white enemy. No. They killed other war heroes during the war. Yes. Because of their selfish gains. In that man had the correct information concerning this issue. Yes. That's why I was saying we needed to find leaders going to hear him out. Did they go to hear him out? I don't think they did. But that's the prophecy that I gave. It's up to you to find out if that prophecy has been fulfilled or it is not. I will not tell you that. That's not my duty anyway. Yes. Now, this, the reminder of the prophecies that I gave. I gave a prophecy concerning Adonijah. It's, an, it's called the Adonijah prophecy. And this was the prophecy. When Adonijah rose up against his father David, saying he wanted to take over as king over Israel, did he live afterwards? Did he experience longevity and peace? Adonijah, is he going to live? And when Adonijah rose up against David, did not Joab, the commander of his army, side with him? Joab, his nephew, the son of his sister, Zeruiah. Why did Joab join forces with a rebellious son? That was an act of madness. It was an act of foolishness. Is Joab going to live? Now, the Bible, if you look at it, there are prophecies which were said and they took 400 years to get fulfilled. And when the prophecies are given, people are expecting those prophecies to happen tomorrow. And yes. when they don't see them getting fulfilled, they say, liar, the prophecy never got fulfilled. Don't worry about them. Yes. Remember, it's a no pipot. Yes. People are complaining. Yes. People Yes. So we are not going to be moved by speculations. So what went into Abiata, the priest of God? Why did he support? Hallelujah. Amen. Why did he support the rebellion of a rebellious son, a renegade son? We only know that there are true men of God who never sided with Adonijah's foolishness. Who are they? Nathan the prophet and what? And Zadok the priest. Adonijah. Wakanga wapindi wanei. So waka mukira baba wako iwewe Adonijah. Ukatiwa nono kakufa wakuna kutonga. Ukavisa, ukana kufisa baba pa chigaro nechi simba. Anorara maere Adonija. Kojoabi, mkuruwe hondo ya mambo. Muzukuru wake, muzukuru wake. Ana kona ere, kutisekuru Adonija wa kurasika. Anorara maere Joabi, Joabi, anorara maere. Kwa ya Adonija sa haka mbo gara pa shigaro. Haka gari sa ere pa shigaro. Ana kuzokuru mizere kubiskwa. Paka inda Solomon. Nekuti Adonija ishi kuzashi. Ndiri mkuru. Mkomo ongo abzalo nisha haka afa. Ndiri no gara pa shigaro. Mwaraka ati I am not a respect of persons. Ndoku vatora Solomon mfana wake. Haka ati ndo wandoda. Akati neku kura kwe soko. Andi kude Adonija. Doda Solomon. Kwa imi munora mbasee kutuanu. Hamu harima ne roe kuita. Panyayai zimi wari muno imi. Hamu zive ere kuti. Haka zoita kuti Solomon agazwe. Ndi Nathan. Haka yes. mbanya kuna mama. Yes. 
akanoti mama ende kuna mambo amen munotaura nawo muno zviziva here kuti solomon kuti atonge paka shatiswa munhu hamwari ana kutonga nata nata na hapite munyaye dzodzo anongo uya oti a mambo mamukirwa koma na ndi akanzi na mwari ndi achatonga eh hey. amen Mwari ndo zvane ngataura akakomwara anobvunzwera kati wemunhu ndiwani unopindzura mwari zvekupindzurwa chaizvo mwari hadi yes saka adonija icho kwadi kuti akamukira mambo mubvunzo chete ndewo kuti akatonga here kwengo yakareba iwo musu akapanduka adonija vana vana kumhanya here vakaita mabiko vakajika vakafara anti tizvinonzi kwa kaure wa mombe vanhu vakati adoni jati mambo adoni jati mambo munhu wani ndi akabata godza kati mai we zvangu ndi nathan akata zvina mwari mukati yes yes ya kutoda kuti ndi simuke igadziriswe <laughs> I papa yeah. unona mwaji popota kuti msataura ijozo ndi wadu nijere asi ndiwe kani <laughs> unenge ndiwe ka donija iwewe <laughs> ndiwe job ka iwewe uno popotira chiprofita chisina zitarako asuru kunyumwa zvako <laughs> kunyumwa akurambidzwe futika yes Saka izvi zvimukandura ya munoti zvinostara zvisingaitike zvinoitika Joabi anorarama Saka the other prophecy that I gave I said I saw two coffins I saw two coffins so the one was getting buried and the other one was coming quickly in the vision it was before this one has been buried and and, and hipped on on through soil and 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 this one was coming and the lord was saying what 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 are you seeing and i said i saw two coffins and somebody says Coff we know coffins all the time coffins will be what's new about dying we all know that we are dying well that's what we call gain saying yes when isaiah said unto us a child is born were children not getting born every day they were if you hear is there saying a child is to be born it means it's a special child yes when we hear about two coffins they are not ordinary coffins yes. <laughs> that is what it means yes. tell your neighbor they are not ordinary coffins asi pungwa ari mbokisira ndakaona hii Wazo zvende taura. Mukofi makofi na ndakaona. Mama msina pungu. Kune rufu rwoti kana rwaitika flag inodzika zvo. Ndorwa ndakaona hii. Yes. Rwembi rwakasonga yaka ya radio kaya kaya. Ndorwa ndiri kutaura ininirwa. And as I speak to you now people are becoming nervous these days. Now I am going to give a prophecy which is so much in riddles that it will be difficult for people to understand it but that's how I am instructed to give it anyway. Hallelujah. Amen. So I saw a, a village house. Listen to this prophecy. It was a village house. <laughs> and the house was crowded with so many people. And I was wondering, how can a family have too many children like this? Some were very tall, some were short, big ones, slender, and so forth. But they were all crying. The mother was crying also crying to the man to the father 
do something, these children are going to die. There was, the house was leaking, it was raining, it was dark. There was no food, there was no fire. The children were naked. That was the village set up that I saw in the vision. So the husband was climbing a eucalyptus tree. So each time there was a voice of crying from the wife and the children demanding that the husband does something to solve the problem. Instead of coming down to deal with those issues, he continued to climb higher. And the eucalyptus tree was very tall. And as I was looking at him climbing, I was wondering what is going to happen if he goes to the summit of that tree. He was running away from his responsibilities. And I saw some of those children falling down and dying. That village house was big. The children that I saw were more than 1,000. And they started to die. Five, five, ten, ten, hundred. Hundred falling down and dying, more than 1,000 of them. And then the voice spoke and said, do you know how this situation is going to be solved? I said, no. I saw a wind. Very violent wind, very boisterous. It came, it lifted up all the dust and all the mud and all the stones into the sky. And the tree did not fall down. It stood on its leaves. It was chained upside down. That's the end of the prophecy. <laughs> so I'll repeat it in Shona. Takaona chiporofita chinodai. Takaona musha uri kuruzevo nga uine bana vaka wanda vaka siya na mizera. Asivese vanga vaka shama apana anga vaka pfeka. Vaichira tizauta apana mvura apana nche kujga. Mai vaka anga vachicheme la baba. Asiva itika na vaka chema kuna baba so vaya uya vachituku vana. Jinita shaka naka. Muchachi kamanji manji. Ozoke na kuna tuna baba. Naimi mwana wofa ere. Baba wacho avanaka na kudaira. Maonye na nita keta vision. Vai kuira. Jua zine tu kwa nema nuko na Nigeria kana wajiku kila mtu yao ya owano unonzi chimtu yao na ukanga no mupam tree awa kuri wachi dai oso wano kira wachi tii wakabata so oto ruru aso na aju doma kuri rava ita mudi pranga wachu wangu wakareba saka yendi chitari sanda kati muri moyaro kuti zaka kuti afide muri ya kuya na kuita wana waka wanda so say. But ground vision <laughs> And I have changed it. But I have changed it. I have changed it. I have changed it. I have changed it. I have it. I remember giving a prophecy concerning an apple with rotten seeds in 2015. That prophecy came to pass. Maybe one day we shall hear another person sharing with us the testimony concerning that prophecy. Yes. So it, it was just a reminder of the prophecies that I gave and giving you this prophecy. 
this prophecy. So, uh, in in the vision, in the vision, I think this family depends on a violent wind for its problem to be addressed. Apana munu andaka ona chigadri sanyai imepo. Yandaka ona yaka oya zine simba yaka pidi gura zimba. Ndoku vayano takura mpranga ndoku pidi gura zo. Ndoku isa mizi mdenga. Wasara wakati kanga nga mizi yeseri mdenga zo. Babawe wangava apa sifuti. Saka. Kachi chenge tukwe mzewe ziva no tenda. Isheka na hari mpenyu, tishazo shona. Let me finish this prophecy by opening the scripture, the book of First Corinthians chapter 14. Now, Follow after charity and desire spiritual gifts, but rather that he may prophesy. For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men, but unto God. For no man understandeth him, howbeit in the spirit he speaketh mysteries. But he that prophesieth speaketh unto men to edification and exhortation and comfort. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse number 22, wherefore tongues are for a sign and not to them that believe, but to them that believe not. But prophesying saveth not for them that believe not, but for them which believe. So prophecy is beneficial to only to believers. Can we repeat this together? Go. Those that do not believe should never hear prophecy because according to 1 Corinthians, put it back on the screen, chapter 14, verse 22. I want us to read it again. Let's read it together. Go. Wherefore, tongues are for a sign, not to them that believe, but to them that believe not. But prophesying saveth not for them that believe not, but for them which believe. So if anybody asks about the prophecies that we give, before you decide to answer that question, you must ask this question first. Is that person a believer? Even the way they ask, they will show you that they don't believe. The moment you discover that this person does not believe, you should never talk anything concerning prophecy with that person. Because prophecy is only for believers. Amen. 